Greetings to the residents of Vaughan Woodbridge. It's Francesco Severi, a member of Parliament. With me today is Randy Bossino, the MP from Edmonton Centre, and the Special Advisor to the Prime Minister and to the entire Liberal Caucus on the LGBTQ community. How are you doing, Randy? I'm well, thank you very much. This is a great opportunity. I understand that some exciting things happen in York Region, a Pride celebration this weekend. Absolutely, we had the York Region Pride Parade on, uh, on Sunday in, uh, up in Newmarket. It was very well attended. It was a great atmosphere. Uh, you know, it was great to see so many Canadians from all walks of life out uh, to participate in the, uh, in the York Region Pride Parade and to support the community even more so. That's fantastic. I had a similar opportunity in my hometown when I was growing up. 1,800 people, now about 10,000. 700 kids marched in a little Pride Parade on the main street of Mournville, Alberta. So uh, there's uh, examples of Pride all over the country. And there's other reasons to celebrate this past week now that C-16 has passed the Senate and will be sent to Royal Assent sometime this week. Absolutely. And we know how important C-16 is. And C-16 that guarantees that no Canadian faces discrimination in any sort of manner. That all Canadians are equal. And that as our Prime Minister says that, you know, despite our differences, we are stronger for them. And I think that's a powerful statement when we say that. And for the LGBTQ community, it's even a more powerful statement. I believe, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, absolutely. I mean, extending uh, pri uh, extending uh, protection to transgender Canadians in the Criminal Code and also in the Canadian Human Rights Act is critical. This is going to save lives. This is going to make sure that trans persons can find apartments, that they can't be refused for jobs, that we're going to, you know, enjoy the same kind of rights and freedoms and privileges that you and I have, that transgender Canadians and those who express their gender differently absolutely. will also be included. Absolutely. And you know what? It's 2017. And every community in Canada needs to be accepted, feel safe, feel accepted, be able to look for housing, not be discriminated against. And, and Bill C-16 ensures that. And also just the tone of our government, of what we're doing for, for communities like LGBTQ mm -hmm. community, and making sure that they're accepted in all forms, in all places, in all of Canada. And that you know tolerance and diversity, not only do we speak to it by our words, but also by our actions and our deeds. Well, I can tell you, when I was coming out, I never thought that I would ever be in politics, I never thought I'd have a job, didn't think my family would love me anymore. And so the changes that we've been made, we're celebrating, and that's what pride is for, and we know that there's still more work to do. And with colleagues like you, no. we are going to continue to walk down the Randy, path of diversity. I, I love you, and I know our caucus <laughs> loves you, and we're great you, friends, friend. and uh, you know what? We're working hard for our constituents and yeah. our residents, and for all Canadians, and that's what's most important. Outstanding. Thanks so much.